Well, today I'm in Arlington Cemetery in uh, Atlanta, Georgia, and we're visiting the grave of somebody that you will not know what, who the name is, but you will sure know the voice. And that's especially true if you're around my age. I'm 62, um, but if you are younger than, oh, say 40, you may not know this voice. If you're 40 and up, you will definitely know this voice. So let's take a look. Please check the number and dial again. If you need assistance, please make a note of it. If you'd like to make a call, please hang up and try it again. We're up on the hill in this Arlington Cemetery, which by the way is, is a beautiful, well-maintained, um, high dollar cemetery, you can tell. But we're at the grave of Jane Barbie. And Jane was the voice for the, uh, she was called the telephone lady. And uh, there was a time before cell phones that you would call and get the date and the time. And this was the voice you heard for 40 years. Uh, it was also the voice you would hear if you called and got a wrong number. And it would come on and, and give you a, um, a statement saying that you had, uh, the number you have dialed uh, is not working or is not in existence anymore. Well, this is the voice you heard is hers. Uh, she was a longtime employee of, I guess it was Bell that employed her. Um, and uh, nobody really knew her face. She's been on some talk shows. I think she was on the Merv Griffith show. Um, three or four. I don't think she was ever on the Tonight Show. But um, she did have some exposure about, about her job. But um, most people don't know who she is. Um, I've always wanted to see this. I knew she was buried here at this location in Atlanta and uh, just happened to be going through here and I thought it'd be neat to to pay my respects to uh, Jane. feel like I know her because I've heard her voice so many times. Thank you so much for watching. 